Hello everyone, Coach Chris with Wolf Moon Drone. Today we're here to talk about something that's not fun, but is a necessity in the process of making beer. That is, if you're bottling your beer, and that's cleaning your bottles. Up to a couple of years ago, I used to hand wash every bottle, put them in a big container, sort of similar to the buckets you see below me, one bucket full of PBW, let it soak for a couple of hours, and then hand rinse each bottle, and then put it in another bucket like this full of star sand and let it soak for 30, 60 minutes, and then start my bottling process. It was a long time to get the bottles clean and ready. It was a big waste of water, and honestly just did not enjoy it. So I ended up kegging more times than bottling, but I always needed to bottle every now and then. A couple of years ago, I came across a product called Fast Rack from Northern Brewer. Now, this doesn't really help my cleaning all that much, at least not in time, but it did give me a great storage solution for bottles, because as I washed them after I drank a bottle, turned it upside down in here, I was able to store 24 bottles upside down, and they stayed fairly dry and fairly clean uh, from getting dust and debris inside them. And then I would go through my process of cleaning. About a year ago, I noticed that they had an additional product called Fast Wash. Just a bottle cleaner. There's really nothing fancy about it. It's just got two aquarium pumps underneath. It's got a bunch of channels, and each one of these spigots uh, is where the water or the cleaner shoots up into the bottle. But the neat thing about it is their Fast Rack system integrates perfectly with that. So all I had to do was take their bottle, take a full rack of bottles and put it in a bucket of PBW and let it rinse or let it wash for 15, 20 minutes. Then put it into a rinse bucket and being the OCD person I am, I put it in a second rinse bucket. And then once that's all done, I put it in the third, my fourth bucket, which is full of sanitizer. Now you've heard me talk about Star Sand as my sanitizer of choice. And absolutely it is my sanitizer of choice 99% of the time. This is the one time that I don't use star sand. And the reason I don't use star sand in this instance is because it foams a lot. And with the spray that's created with this, it really creates a major foam. However, I do use a product made by the same manufacturer, Five Star, called Sani Clean, which is what I have in there right now. Sani Clean is a low foam sanitizer but it does require a little bit more contact time. So when I put my bottles in there, I let it sit for about 30 minutes, just to be sure. And again, that's because I'm a little crazy. So let me show you real quickly how this works. Take your bottles from your fast rack, put it right onto the fast cleaner, make sure all the bottles line up, which they should very simply. Then the whole system goes into your bucket of cleaning liquid. In my case, it in my case, it's PBW. Plug in and let it clean. I'm going to let it sit there for about 30 minutes going through that cycle. Once it's done, I'm going to take the entire system and move it over to my second bucket, which is my first rinse cycle. I'll put it in there for about 10 to 15 minutes. Then I'll move it to my third bucket, which is a second rinse cycle, just because I'm a little crazy and I just want to make sure everything's rinsed and cleaned. Then I'll put it into my fourth bucket, which is Sani Clean, and I'll let it run in the Sani Clean for about 30 minutes, just to make sure everything is sanitized and good to go. At that point, they're good to be used to bottle your beer, because they've been cleaned and sanitized and ready to go. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this really boring and mundane process, but it is a necessity and it is something that you need to do if you're going to be bottling your beer. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to post them down below in the comment section. While you're down there, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button for a like. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the little bell to be notified anytime I post a new video. Remember, home brewing is really fun, but so is drinking responsibly. I'm Coach Chris, and we'll see you next brew.